Recording, recording, haircut, room is a mess. Let's do this. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week I am reacting to two kinda similar videos by The Stupendium. First, it's a matter of facts, which was the JT Music Fact Challenge, and then a matter of factories, which is his song about the game Satisfactory. Now, the reason I paired these together is, number one, I have kind of a large backlog of stupendium songs to get through, and two, the names are close. Yeah, these songs were made like a year apart from each other, the first one in 2018 and the next one in 2019, but yeah, they don't really have anything else in common, except maybe the names. They're about two completely different things. Uh, one is facts, and one is places where you make things. Uh, I do, I am, I am familiar with the JT Music Fact Challenge. Uh, I remember that Bone Cage did a Matter of Facts song, and uh, actually that song was nominated for a Logan Award that year, and uh, I was going to perform it at the Logan Award since Bone Cage wasn't able to make it to the ceremony. I was going to perform it in his stead. Unfortunately, I, uh, I had to have emergency gallbladder surgery the day before the ceremony, and uh, it was a ceremony that I was hosting too, and spent several months putting together. Oops. So, uh, I was in the hospital the day that that ceremony happened, and therefore I didn't perform the song nor host the ceremony, and, uh, so that never happened. But, uh, the ceremony still went on, just that song's performance was different. Uh, but, that said, I don't know the Stupendium's version, so let's get into that. We're gonna do a quick intro today. Yeah, right. Knowing me, I'm Ramble. Uh, before we do that, haha, fooled ya, we're not starting yet. Uh, before we get into this, if you like these videos, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that cool things that make the algorithm happy. Because, you know, helps raise my engagement and get more eyeballs on this stuff for me. And I appreciate it. And if you really want to help me out, I have a Patreon. You get to see these videos early. You get to hear new music from me uh, early and exclusively sometimes. So, you know, it benefits you as well as me. It helps me make more of these and more music. So, you know, think about it. Anyway, let's get into the videos. Got a little sound clip of JT music well, in there. JT set a challenge, I'm here to answer it. You want facts, boy, well you ask for it. I'm gonna give you some trivia, master it. And put the facts on blast till class dismiss. It's the truth, ain't no party trick. I'm bringing facts to the web like in Carter did. So <laughs> again, Carter did. Alright, decent. Here's something I've never said in any of these videos. You gotta respect the mutton chop game. Dude's got, like... Doesn't quite meet in the middle. He's got he's got it shaved here, but the mutton chops, decent. It doesn't hold a candle to TV's Kyle, but it's decent. If you don't know who TV's Kyle is, that's Kyle Carosa, who is a comedy musician known as TV's Kyle and also the creator of Mighty Magiswords on Cartoon Network. He's been on my channel a bunch, uh, mainly because he and I are in a comedy band together. <laughs> but yeah, Kyle's mutton chop game, insane. Uh, his mutton chop game, d decent, comparatively decent, but uh, we, yeah, it, words and stuff. Roll that back a little. Well, you asked for it. I'm gonna give you some trivia, master it, and put the facts on blast till class dismissed. It's the truth, ain't no party trick. I'm bringing facts to the web like in car I did. So get your notebooks out, you can quote the track. It's not a trivial pursuit, it's a matter of fact. Please have your bring the title in. Ready. The facts will commence in three, two, one. Facts. Black Flag Falcon Net, world's smallest bird of prey. Giraffe's neck may be long, but only seven vertebrae. That's the same as you would find in anybody. You were made back when you were 75 pounds a litre a day. 
<laughs> can you eat 75 pounds of leaves a day? I don't think I could even eat a pound of leaves a day, but then again, I'm not a giraffe. D just facts. Facts. Black thighed falcon net, world's smallest bird of prey. Giraffe's net may be long, but only seven vertebrae. That's the same as you would find in any butter. You were made, but can you eat 75 pounds and leave a day? The opposite of deja vu is shaming food. It's when something familiar feels strangely new. A smilodon is what he'd really call a saber tooth, and they were nothing like tiger to say the truth. A reindeer's eyes go through a range of hues. They're gold, but in the winter, changed to blue. Okay. I'm learning things at a rather high velocity. There are more hats in Team Fortress 2 than there are real thoughts in the whole EU. Well, somebody had to count that. Uh, and also, kind of a precursor to his most fashionable faction song. It's a lot of hats. I would, I would have to laugh if every one of those hats showed up in the fashionable faction song video. That would be... That would be excellent. Biotic 56 years too complete, so by the time it was built, thoughts were obsolete. But since the 90s, you will find it's been in use constantly as a setting of a game show on TV. That's the sound of a Honda for Indy's Boulder Dash. No one really knows the etymology of Boulder Dash. Escobar had so much gold to stash, he spent thousands on rubber bands just to roll the cash. A group of wow. jellyfish is called a smack. A safety helmet was the purpose of a bowler hat. You don't feel pain if you're a naked mole rat. 39 is the record for the oldest cat. So many rhyming facts. Wow, this is this is really good. Buckle up, this one's a little morbid. In the 50s, laugh tracks were recorded. So if a new show has a canned laugh audience, there's a good chance that the laughers are all dead. There's no letter B <laughs> till you get up to a billion. An ice cream tester had a tongue in short of millions. 99 zeros and a zero trick and tilly. 99 sides is an any akataki and again. Any akatakatenian? Like, how would you even know to pronounce that word to make sure that it rhymes? How, how, uh, oh. Rolling that back a little. Answer the laughers are all dead. There's no letter B until you get up to a billion. An ice cream tester had a tongue in short of a million. <laughs> 99 zeros and a zero trick and tilly. 99 sides is a nanny, akataki, and again. Annually, we make 7 billion zips. To dot an I as a tittle on a diet to pip. Tommy Cooper died live in the middle of a quip. But my granddad once taught him how to build a ship. Well, That's the only letter that is not in any element. The White House got power when Harrison was president. But he never touched the switches. He was scared of them. Relevant. Thomas Edison killed an elephant. <laughs> Yeah, Edison was kind of a douche. He, he, he kind of did that to show how Tesla's st It had something to do with his rivalry with, rivalry with Tesla. I'm not sure of the exact situation, but I do know about that because of listening to ERB, which strangely puts actual history in their comedy raps too. Okay, too much learning. Didn't expect to get schooled in multiple ways. I haven't been to school in years. I'm old, is what I'm saying. Taught him how to build a ship. Jay's the only letter that is not in any element. The White House got power when Harrison was president. But he never touched the switches. He was scared of them. Relevant. Thomas Edison killed an elephant. There was no electricity in Ethiopia till 1896 when the emperor ordered a brand new electric chair and realized they couldn't plug it in anywhere. <laughs> the world's first batteries may have been Roman. 3% of all the world's cheese gets stolen. Figs use wasps to spread their pollen, but the wasps get trapped and the figs dissolve them. A strawberry well. not a bed. Now I don't want to eat any figs. Because it might have a dissolved wasp corpse in it. Happy thoughts. The world's first batteries may have been Roman. 3% of all the world's cheese gets stolen. Figs use wasps to spread their pollen, but the wasps get trapped and the figs dissolve them. A strawberry's not a berry in any way, but bananas are and share half of all our DNA. The first fruit eaten on the moon was canned peaches, and canned peaches onto grand speeches. Will you find them on the beaches? Great speech, can't be debated, except the fact that Winter Churchill never really made it, yet he wrote it and performed it for the government, of course, but the version that you've heard was made years after the war. <laughs> he was Dippy Dog before he was Goofy, Scarecrow to once called Poverty Booby. I did know the thing about Goofy. Out of everything in this song, the one thing that I've like, oh yeah, I knew that, was the fact that Goofy was named Dippy Dog before being called Goofy. 
why is that in in the pool of knowledge in my head? Full of useless trivia is this brain. N nothing quite to the equivalent of this, although now this is taking up space that I'm learning all of this and pushing important stuff out of the brain. Like third grade math. I don't need that anymore. Let's put what scarecrows used to be called in my head. Dippy dog. The really made it, yeah, he wrote it and performed it for the government, of course, but the version that you heard was made years after the war. He was Dippy Dog, before he was goofy. Scarecrow to once called Holiday Boobies. Jordan and Bugs once advertised shoes. These ads got so popular, they went and made a movie. Green screen, <laughs> meant to be a fix, a dream. But did you know that long ago they used a yellow screen? Special sodium lamps on a plain white film make a certain shade of yellow that's invisible on film. In Disney's Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins, so supercalifragilisticexpialidocious backwards, is docious alley explicit front. Rupus, but that's just the syllables reversed. Letter for letter, it's Suicodlapetitikilagarphalacopus. And if you think I'm saying that on the beat, you're mad. And that's a fact. <laughs> there are more ways to stack a deck of cards than the galaxy has stars. And each year we eat so much Nutella that you can span the Great Wall of China with the jars. Coca-Cola sells so many drinks worldwide, the measuring profit just won't suffice. So share a throat is a scale they've devised, the percentage of humanity's hydration they provide. The met I have nothing to say to any of those bars except wide-eyed disbelief. Okay. Also, the way he says Nutella is kind of... There's that different pronunciation between Europe and America. Just... Yeah. The way they say things in the UK and the way they say things here and just... Different. It's very different. Obviously. The jazz. Coca Cola sells so many drinks worldwide, the measuring profit just won't suffice. So share of throat is a scale they've devised for the percentage of humanity's hydration they provide. Memetics is the study of shared ideas, and it's where the word meme first appeared. Johnny Cash was a radio engineer, and when Stalin died, he was the first to hear. It's a matter of fact that in the world there are less flamingos than plastic ones on lawns. It's a matter of fact. The man who invented the tube for Pringles had his ashes buried in one. I actually knew that too. I also maintain that the Mitch Hedberg joke uh, was that Pringles originally intended to make tennis balls, and then they got potatoes instead of rubber, and said, F it, cut them up, because they're a laid-back company. I think that's true, too. It's not just a Mitch Hedberg joke. I believe that to be fact. That's the difference between uh, Stupendium's Matter of Fact song and Bone Cages, because uh, Bone Cages is the only one I've listened to. Uh, I'm pretty sure all the stuff in Bone Cage's song is false. None of those are actual real facts. These all seem to be actual real facts. I am judging mostly on the fact that I recognized one of them. And everything else just is presented to be so matter-of-factly. Just saying. Every second 5,000 statuses are updated 4,000 brand new stars are created Every single second takes hours when animated I'm gonna stop now or I'll never ever make it If you set the <laughs> challenge, I'm bound to react JT, this has been my counter-attack If you saw it through, have a pat on the back It's not a trivial pursuit, it's a matter of fact I also admire hey everyone, his fashion to so pull off that for shirt. And thank to JT as well for the awesome challenge. I had loads of fun with it. I've just hit 16,000 subscribers, which is absolutely nuts. Fast approaching 17, so thanks so much. Just hit 16,000 subscribers. He's well past that now. <laughs> uh, it doesn't tell me how many subscribers if I unsubscribe. No, no it doesn't tell me. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's, he's uh, well past that number. I haven't hit that number yet yet. But anyway, let's move on to the next song. Thank you so much for all your comments, your likes and your support. And there's loads more tracks on the way. Danville just issued a board game rap challenge, which sounds amazing. And I already watched the board game, game rap challenge. As well. so. so for updates on those, just Monica. Just subscribe. <laughs> all right, matter of factories. With all of his new logo glory and stuff. 
Now, admittedly, I've never played this game, but I've heard Bone Cage a song about it again. Ugh. Welcome from Pixar Inc. to our brand new engineer. We're thrilled you picked us. We're here to bring you a brilliant new career. Yes, it's true that the terms of your servitude are a little bit unclear, but don't fear the years you'll be spending here. You're a lifelong pioneer. You're entering Planetfall to a planet full of resources. Your con planet fall to a planet full. Nice. You're a little bit unclear, but don't fear the years you'll be spending here. You're a lifelong pioneer. You're entering planet fall to a planet full of resources. Your contract calls and your life revolves around rounding up and exporting. And if you have it upon our previous ones, well, it's your job to reboot it. Take inventory of the spent debris, but best to leave any corpses. <laughs> It's kind of like No Man's Sky meets Minecraft, but just making factories to make more things with the resources that you find to make more things to find the resources. Right? I'm pretty sure that's the gist of the game. That's at least what the graphics look like and what what I can glean from the song. You know. Game things. Roll it back a little. Free to construct more. Explore. You'll fall to a world of wonders that none have seen before. Explore. Convert that third love to a furnace churning ore. Flora and fauna, forced to the boundaries, part for the course when you're forced tearing down trees, pounding them down at the bound at the bow. These towers you found at the round of accounts. These Whoa. And then and begins the next line with C's to have that still rhyme with the previous bars. Uh, he's so good. Ah, uh, that was so good. I mean, I have to listen to that again. And he kept it going too. Ah, uh, down deep. Uh, keep. Ah. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's so good. Well, Capitalism, the song. From a thousand rods in the pot, chip them off, don't stop and move on to the modular frame. The rotors and cables, the table says we are waiting on a lot of crates. And if we haven't got enough on your plate, well, we haven't got enough for the plate. To the state of the caterium is a great to fill the elevator by end of the day. Mother nature is minted, it's evident. If we're a kid, the boy is the precedent. Where there's a will, there's a way to inherit it. Whether we killed her or not is irrelevant. <laughs> Thanks for delay, it's expensive. So pay up for closures a moment away. Financially, we're financially. To contractually say it again. Financially, we're fine, actually. Whew. There's so many good bars in this, and they go by so damn fast. Oh my god, his skill. It's so humbling. <laughs> ah, so good. Just just the the internal rhymes and the repetitions and that one verse where the rhymes ended one line of the bar and then they started to begin the line of the next bar instead. So he flipped from where the rhyme was but still kept the same rhyme going throughout it all. So like the... And, the last line continued into the first line of the next line 
carrying the rhyme scheme over into that, so it just extended it just that little bit, was completely masterful. The, uh, thank you for suggesting this one. This one is is so good. And thanks for suggesting the other one, too, and keep suggesting songs, please. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm enjoying both of these. This one a little bit more than the last one. So much learning. Not that I have a problem with learning, <laughs> obviously. It's just, it was too many things to cram into my brain at once. Brain has an owie. I'll be fine. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. Yeah. Those damn ball. <laughs> when your neck is on the blockchain. Uh, that's a good flip. And uh, obviously, uh, Dan Bull there. I don't know who the other two are. Obviously, probably nerdcore people. Uh, again, the, the nerdcore that I know of is not the same as the nerdcore of this. YouTube nerdcore and old school, I guess you could call it old school nerdcore, uh, are, are kind of separate things sometimes. So... Is this thing still recording? <laughs> that would be bad. Roll it back for a second there. Had a little technical hiccup. <laughs> make you a profit, make us a profit. Different spelling and meaning. The way he turns the phrases to end, uh, it's just, there was, there was one line back here and that obviously a lot of overarching themes that he has about consumerism and capitalism and kind of the toil of the worker and everything. We, we find that a lot of his songs, it seems. We made you a prophet, so make us a prophet, is the line. Uh, yes. It's just... It's just good. <laughs> right, I want 10,000 steel beams on my desk by four. Not literally, where, where would I put them? <laughs> right, this is your mandated weekly lunch break. Awesome. So let's get this done quick. I would like to thank all of our generous investors over on Patreon for making this video Go possible. support Stupendium on his channel please check the playlist with his Patreon. Do please like, subscribe, subscribe to him. And you can see the original videos in the link below. To ring the bell. Uh, check the Patreon and the merch store if you're interested. Oh, and if you're considering buying the game, you can also consider using the creator tag Stupendium. This is not an ad and it won't get you nothing, but it will help support me, which is lovely. Right, I'll make that 30 <laughs> seconds. Break over. Back to work. 
So yeah, uh, this was awesome. Uh, the Matter of Fact song was awesome. Thank you for the suggestions for these songs. If you have other Stupendium tracks that you'd like me to check out, or any other comedy music in general, please suggest them in the comments below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and if you really want to support me, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash which the link should be somewhere in this area. And, uh, you know, thanks, and we'll see you next time. Uh, original videos will be linked below, so you can check them out with me without me yammering all over them. See you next time. Bye. This groove is too dope for us. I'm afraid there's no hope for us. We don't want to betray your trust. We should pack it up and leave because this groove is too dope for us. It's a slippery slope for us. Gonna take off on the latest bus so we do not earn your disgust. This track's too good.